I'm on the camera today and uh, it is awfully windy and I know technically once the plane has flown once that's its maiden but I'm going to cheat and say this is a remaiden because I have changed some a lot of things I've completely swapped out the receiver and now I have a gyrode seven channel lemon rx gen 2 receiver that actually has some wind mitigation which will definitely need it today and if you just watch my uh, video I did a setup video on how on, on how to set up your lemon rx gen 2 seven channel how to set up the wind mitigation and how to use that uh, how to install that receiver and set it up in your computer in your radio and uh, so new new battery also installed a KM afterburner but I'm not I don't have it turned on right now it's just too bright got a helicopter going over yeah looks like a either a law enforcement or a life flight so all right well, let's go ahead and try to remaiden the Viper in this wind run a 4000 Sokokan 6s right left up down right left running my high rates which my high rates for me are 95 over 30 percent expo all right very windy today now with a viper it is not a high alpha landing plane you want to almost land it in a three-point landing and you just have an ever so slight bit of flare on the nose just a touch because you got that big wide wing and you don't want the wind to pick it up because it will timer set for three and a half minutes here we go do not need flaps right now yeah she gets up in a hurry especially going into the wind Well, the reason I put flaps in right now is just to slow her down as she comes by. Just show you how slow she can fly. Flaps. All right, flaps are back up. Three All right, let's uh, try to do another slow pass Landing flaps. right down the runway again. This is like a practice landing. There you go. Flaps up. All right. Gear down. All right, my gear is down. I can see all three. Go. Oh yeah, she's got brakes. <laughs> All right. Very windy. This is one of my well, I got lots of favorite jets, <laughs> but this is definitely in my top ten favorite jets of the jets I've got. Just a good flying jet, and I like where I've got my. Uh, rates they're pretty good i'm on a dial so i don't know what percentage they are right now yeah. all right let's go have a little bit of fun with her now all right we're going there we're going to take her up one two three time remaining two minutes yeah very aerobatic jet all right honey we're going to do that maneuver again I want you to try to focus in on when I take her up again. All right, up and one, two, three. All right. Landing flaps. Start slowing her down. Flaps up, gear down. Yeah. Sweet flying jet, that's for sure. 
almost completely out of the power. All right. Takeoff flaps, braking, flaps up. All right. All right, we got enough in there for one more. Good looking little jet. All right, we're going to take her back up again and try to do that snap roll one more time. Hopefully we can capture it on the film. All right, here we go. All right, we're going to take her up in three, two, one. Yeah. I almost caught, I almost pulled off the snap roll. Didn't quite do it the way I wanted to, but not bad. All right, gears down. Starting to slow my roll a little bit. Go back out here. Out of the power, back in the power just a touch. Braking. All right. Great flying jet, that is for certain. All right. Motor off. Hobby Zone, I want to thank you for sending me out this jet for review. I absolutely love it. Great flying jet. Very stable. We had 28 seconds on a three and a half minute timer, so three minutes and, tw and two seconds. Just to show you where I have everything. Now, if you pay attention to my radio setup video I did last night, I put a little wooden shelf in there. It's made out of two thick um, popsicle sticks, the, the craft kind. Glued them in there, got my radio or my receiver sitting right there, run a long ways with the fuselage. And then the 20, my 4000, if you notice right underneath, if you didn't have the, the battery, that, that shelf there, there's two indentation that turns inward on this fuse, right, right about where my fingers are. When those turn inward, that's where you shove that batter right up to that. And a 4000 will CG her perfect right there. However, in order for me to see that receiver, in order to fit everything in there, you need to carve out a large section of that foam. Okay? Now, that's actually a good thing because now I can physically look at the receiver and know that I've got power and everything's working fine. And the lights show through at night. It's kind of cool looking. So, hey. But that's where I've got the 4,000. And let's take it out of there. And hopefully the lights will the, we'll get a little bit of a lower light and we'll turn this cool afterburner on. It goes blue and purple and all kinds of pretty colors. And let's see what kind of life we've got left. Notice what the plane's doing right now, sitting on its butt. I'm going to show you a problem with that. 59%. All right, we flew for three minutes, still got 59%, so you could set your timer for four and a half minutes and come back with uh, mixed flying, come back with a 20 to 25%, so on a 4,000. So a good four and a half minutes of mixed flying, four minutes if you're going to really punch it hard most, most of the flight. All right. But notice what the plane's doing right now, sitting on its butt, right? This is where... The manufacturer, FMS, this on the E-Flight Viper, the big one, the 90, this, the tips of these fins are all hard plastic, okay? This is not. On most jets, all the free-wing jets, even their little 64s, they've got a plastic piece here guarding all that that's molded in. Not on this one. So that's going to get ate up. So be aware of that. I need to put some... A good clear coat there, maybe a piece of white clear packing tape, because it's going to get ate up, okay? But other than that, that's the really only drawback of this plane. She's a good, stable, great beginner EDF if you're ready for a six-cell EDF. Not a beginner plane and not your beginner EDF in, in, in the sense. If you're ready for a six-cell 
EDF. The big boys were the six cell, that's where the big boys start. Then this will be the great starter for that. All right, I highly suggest for your first EDF, get the uh, 64 millimeter Marlin by Arrows or even that little uh, uh, X-Fly Y22. That is, is be a good starter EDF because they'll teach you the EDF discipline. Um, the Habu is a great starter EDF. However, she floats and floats and floats and like a trainer, like a prop, and that doesn't give you the, the discipline. To me, that leads you into a false sense of security. That's just my opinion, though. All right, folks, y'all have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends. And then 15-year anniversary, Vipers. Bye-bye.